PBS's series called Genius. But what makes the PBS video so rotten is that this helicopter event was entirely fabricated and it's provable. I made a video on it a while back. Remember, PBS claimed that the helicopter descended behind the curvature and then came up from behind the curvature of the Earth back into view of the telescope. But as you will see, when the helicopter descends, there is a group of birds with a peculiar flight pattern. And then when the helicopter subsequently ascends, the same birds appear and in the same exact flight pattern. Not only that, the waves match as well. Only the image of the helicopter changes, meaning that the helicopter video was added. As it lands, I got him. I got him. As it lands. Without question, PBS lied and faked the curvature. And this isn't some simple mistake. This was intentional, as it took serious effort to add a fake image of a helicopter supposedly hiding behind the curvature of the Earth. Why would PBS lie about the curvature? So, to the individual who emailed me that link, send your brother the proof that PBS lied to him and is still used by globe propagandists as proof of the curvature. But here's another big lie about the curvature, this time by National Geographic. Here's a clip from an old video I made on the subject. But sure enough, as the boat reaches the horizon, the stripes begin to disappear one by one. It's pretty amazing. You can actually see it pretty clearly with this camera here. And you see that the red stripe that was at the bottom has completely disappeared. And it's now getting closer to sort of the middle uh, green stripe, yeah. that is. So we've lost about one and a half stripes. Right. So this can only happen. Why? Because of the curvature of the Earth. While I was playing fair, baby, you played a cheat.